Welcome back, everybody. The History Guy here. Two battles to go on the Union legendary campaign of Ultimate General Civil War. We're going to fight Georgia Railroad, and then it's on to Richmond at last. So this is what my army looks like going into these fi to this final battle before Richmond. And I'm going to be outnumbered about two to one, but that is okay. I've got all the 24-pounders I can take, and we're going to take a look at what things look like going into this one I'm gonna be out number two to one but i've got a strong defensive position and i should be able to hold and inflict massive casual casualties in the process now i'm only taking 108 guns and about 31,000 men i'm going to be up against 67,000 men and twice as many guns so heavily heavily outnumbered which just baffles me at this point in the campaign that would be the case uh, but that's okay so Basically, what we're going to do here is we're just going to get everybody kind of organized along a defensive position, uh, holding these fortifications. The fortifications are fairly good in this one. A couple places they're kind of stretched long, but uh, for the most part, I'm going to use them. I'm not going to use this one out here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build up to right here, and then I'm just going to hold the line right along here. Now, I expect the strongest uh, attacks to come right here and then up here because that's where the objectives are. So I'm gonna plan accordingly, I'm gonna lay everything out and then I'm just gonna shift as needed. And I think I should end up being able to get out of here with maybe five, 6,000 casualties suffered, uh, but inflicting probably four to five times that many. So let's see what happens. Okay, so here we go. Now, the main thing here is just figuring out where the attack's gonna come from. And once you figure that out, it's not, too difficult it's just a matter of making sure that there's backup everywhere because wherever he masses his assault which are probably likely to come maybe right here and down here where the objectives are wherever he masses his assault that's where I'm most likely to have to uh, deal with a unit falling back because they got hit by five or six brigades at once I'm going to shift uh, 24 pounders over this way. So I want to make sure that I've got brigades behind brigades for the inevitable breakthrough wherever it does come. Eventually he's going to have close to 60,000 men. Right now he's got just a 20,000 man advantage, but I expect that'll go bigger. Alright, so looks like he's coming at me on my extreme right. Right now he's kind of spread out everywhere. He hasn't gotten his last reinforcements yet. Alright, there's a big attack coming right here. And there come the last of the reinforcements, I think. Nah, he still may have more coming. Alright, I just want to be ready if he breaks through anywhere. Oh yeah, there's a lot coming at my right too. So right now, 27,000 man advantage, but I feel like that he's he's still got more coming. Okay, the Orphan Brigade's coming across here. I feel badly about this. I had relatives in the Orphan Brigade. They're Kentucky troops, but they're going to have to die today. A couple of these uh, brigades that are on the main line, they're going to take a lot of casualties in this battle just because of the melee assaults. But these fortifications do provide some really nice 
bonuses to the melee defense. So it makes it kind of worth it to hold them. Plus, none of them are stretched out really super far. I mean, this is about the worst one right here. Uh, but it's a fairly good defensive position. All right, Foreman, why aren't you firing him? Need to get him a little closer. Okay. So far, so good. I still don't think he's got the last of his reinforcements. The nice thing is, so far, he hasn't really massed an assault with five or six brigades all at once. They're kind of coming in and then as they're being thrown out they're kind of sending other ones in but I feel like there's a lot over here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 brigades that I can see right here plus this cavalry so I'm sending more over this way because here comes the cavalry attack they're gonna try to break through there's more than 16 brigades because there's a couple more that just showed up. This is going to be a problem if this cavalry breaks through over there. Alright. Who else can I shift? I don't know what else I've got. I'm just going to have to try and hold with this. Oh, Lauman's going to be in trouble with this cavalry hitting him. All right, good. He held it off. Morale's down to 17%, though. Come on, Peckham, hurry up. Yeah, this is where it's happening on this side for sure. Not nearly as much happening elsewhere. Did he get his last reinforcements yet? He might have. Here comes the cavalry again. Now Peckham's going to take it. Look at the morale going down from being hit by that cavalry. Man, that's brutal. Those cavalry charges just kill your morale. And they broke. Lauman's starting to recover, so we got to throw him back in there. Good news is, it, worst case scenario, if I get thrown back from this position, I can hold a defensive line here or even back here. I'll shift some more guns this way. Come on, boys, hurry up. pause for a second. I just want to survey the rest of the situation. Nothing happening over here, but I feel like as soon as I pull one of these brigades out, that's when he's going to sneak up on that side and try to hit me. Um, otherwise, though, I feel like we might be okay if I at least shift Chapman over a little bit. Man, he's just so loaded up on that side. Here's the situation now. Um, I have lost 2,200 men. I don't see any of his guns, so I can't even target them, really. He's lost 10,000, so it's about 4 to 1 right now. Okay. So the problem here is if he takes these fortifications and he knocks me out of there, then Graham is exposed suddenly. So I have to try and hold all of them. I don't know what this glitching is going on here with Johnson right now. If I lose any of these fortifications, then the whole line's in danger. I 
As soon as that Cav hits, Lauman, yeah, his morale's already at 15. There's no way he's going to hold. All right. No, not run. Let's fall back. Because Peckham's going to get driven out next. Oh, Merrick, get out of there. And then Graham's going to lose his line, too. Actually, I think I'm going to hold right here. Gotta try and protect Graham's flank if I can. Oh, that hurt. I think we're solid everywhere else. Oh, now let's see what your cavalry does when you don't have the open area to hit me. Oh, the Wolverines, wow. There we go. Light them up. That's 200 casualties real quick. All right, his advantage is 21,000 now. Man, I do not like being out in the open over here. Just not sure I can advance and take that objective or take the fortifications back Oh boy. Okay. There we go. We're getting volleys in on the cav now. That makes a big difference. He's in the woods. It's going to make it tough, but I've got to try and advance back out.
All right, supplies are a coming. Jones is about to get lit up. There we go. All right, we wiped out that cavalry unit. Ugh, not sure I can hold that fortification yet. All right, I think I've weathered the worst of the storm now. It got really ugly over on my right flank for a while. Uh, I spoke too soon. And now Anderson's gonna get on his flank if I don't do something real quick. No, 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 no. All right, his morale and condition are good. I think I'll be all right until I drive Anderson out. There we go. Oh, Ohio Outlaws, you guys want to come back behind here? That would be great. Okay. I believe the danger is past. Now let's try and rack up some kills in this last hour. He's still got a... 14 and a half thousand man advantage. So that cost me a few more thousand men that I really wanted to lose there. All right, let's wipe out this cavalry. Now we get to have the fun of holding the line and inflicting casualties. He's got a 13,000 man advantage. Let's get everybody resupplied up here before I run out of supplies. There goes another cavalry unit dissolved. Now it's just an 11,000 man advantage. The only thing that's going to hurt me now is that I'm going to run out of time. Because I'm finally in the place where I'm going to inflict a lot of casualties and I'm going to run out of time to do it. Ten thousand. Yeah, I've lost eight thousand men. I didn't want to lose that many in this battle. That debacle up here on my right flanks what did it 
I did a test run with this one yesterday and lost 4,500 men and never had them break through anywhere. I think I, I probably load, I, I sent too many men over there and, and for some reason that drew it in. I actually had fewer men on my right side defending in my test run yesterday and lost fewer casualties because he didn't hit me with as many over here. He kind of spread it out more. This time he didn't do that. That just goes to show you every time it's going to be different. And that time, I also ended up with more men left over than he had at the end. So we're still going to inflict about 30,000 casualties, but I lost nearly 10. All right. Okay, I lost 8,600 men, inflicted about 34,000 casualties. So still, outnumbered 2 to 1, uh, inflicting 4 to 1 casualties. I will take that. Uh, and now we move on to Richmond. And we can kind of get a view of the situation. We're going to put this last point into um, uh, logistics is mapped out or maxed out. So, honestly, it doesn't much matter where I put it at this point. I've got 100 reputation points. I'll probably spend 20 of those to get these 4,000 Springfield 1863s. I've got 45,000 men in my force pool, uh, and I can probably sell some units to bring that um, money number way up. Uh, but as of now, let's see the situation before I do anything. So as of right now, this is obviously far from a complete view of how things are going to be. He's going to outnumber me by about 15,000. That's going to change. I should go in with, I would guess, 90 plus thousand, depending on what that does to his scaling. So we'll take a look at that. Let me know your thoughts on the battle I just fought and on the one to come. It will be the final battle, probably two videos for that one because it'll be so long. Uh, but we're there. We're at the end. And uh, I'm not sure what I'll do next. I've done both legendary campaigns now, so uh, I'm not sure that there's anything else left for me to do, but I know how popular this game is on the channel. So I don't know. We'll figure something out, and I'm open to your ideas on that. So please hit that thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't before. And we will see you again this weekend with the Battle of Richmond. Thanks for watching.